Welcome everybody to live coverage of the first annual Holtwood Open at Muddy Run Disc Golf Course in Holtwood, Pennsylvania. My name is Kurt Demera, and I'm here with Justin Weaver from Lancaster Air Frisbee Sports. Let's get right into it. Lead card started on hole three. They're looking at a par five uphill most of the way, 600 feet. The fairway dog legs left and then dog legs right again before you get to a well-protected basket behind some trees. So even though it is 600 feet, it's playing more like 750 to almost 800 feet. I would agree with that completely. You're definitely fighting uphill the entire way uh, and there's plenty of trees to knock you around if you uh, don't line your shot up right. Here's Mike. What kind of shot do you think he's going to throw here, Justin? Spike Heiser would be the typical shot, but he takes the early one. Ooh, it's sneaky. And he got he gets through. Into the exact point in the fairway <laughs> where you want to land. That was a wow. nice shot, yeah. Nate's the lefty on the card here. Now, this for a lefty, this is the shot that Mike just threw is typically the, what the lefty is going to try to do. It's a difficult lefty shot. Here's Jerry. Doing the spike hyzer as a typical backhand righty. Yep. And into the fairway yeah, area. Yeah, that looks a like that'll deep. be good for him. Maybe a little bit deep on his shot. I suspect Andy's going to do the same From where kind Jerry of shot landed, too. though, there are still areas to get up and through and possibly get a par or a birdie for. For sure. Andy, ooh. Ooh, that's a bad kick. Yeah. It's tough over there. Yeah. I was following them for this hole, and, and when he did that shot, it was like, ooh, okay. Let's see what he can do here. Here, he, he was trying to go big. Ooh, bounces back over to the side, the right-hand side of the silver key pad. Typically from that area, if you can just get back into the fairway, you're good. Yeah, let's see how Nate deals with this. We got a, uh, Looks like he got a kick back downhill, maybe? Possibly. He could still fight for a five from there. Yeah. Andy. Hard to right. tell, huh? Yeah, he, he got up a bit. Mainly back up into trying to get back into the fairway. Not quite there, but... Possible if he has a really good shot, could recover a five from there. Footing on this fairway is tough down at the bottom. There's a lot of rocks and there's some debris there at this point. That was a nice flick by Jerry. That got him up to up the fairway to a point where he's going to be able to make his next shot. Definitely manageable from that point. For sure. Looks like he took a bit of a backdoor route, but it looks like he got up there. Yeah. Mike got up there too. That was a quick shot, hard to tell. Jerry getting up in the and circle. Down into the, yeah. In the circle. <laughs> Here's Andy. See if he can get up there to, to get a putt in. That was a really nice shot. Down. Absolutely. Very nice through shot. a lot of trees. Ooh, big kick there. Like shooting three from here, I believe. I think so. Woo! Oh. He was running. He was trying. Easily in the circle. Yeah. Should hit a pretty good four. Fight. Up and He's down. in the circle. I know that it, it was quite windy on this ridge side, and I know it was it was messing with quite a few of these guys. Yeah, that I, was a nice putt by uh, right there. From holes, basically 14 through 18, and 
I guess one, two, and three, I did hear a lot of the players saying the wind on that side of the hill was definitely yeah. a lot trickier to deal with than on the other side of the course. Definitely. Andy hitting his putt there. You can see the flag flying on top of the basket. It's, it's quite windy where they're at. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's moving from, if you're facing the pin, from the actual fairway right to left. Yeah. Nate's in. I think Jerry Jerry's gets in. a par there. With his matching shields. I think Mike was the only <laughs> I think Mike was the only four on the card there. Yeah, Mike got yes. a four, Jerry four, five, five, Andy wow. five, Andy and Nate got a six. Got a great five on the Yeah, that that's one. a that's a big five for <laughs> Andy from where he was uh fighting from off the tee there. Absolutely. All so, right. Uh my evil creation, <laughs> at least from the gold. Uh yeah, this one it's another just two turns it's a big s uh yeah. and it's all i mean at least for setting up for birdie it's all about the first shot mike turns it over yeah looks like he got it yeah he, I, I can't tell if he was trying to do a roller or if it was just a big anheuser there. i think that was a big annie but like you definitely want to get as far right as you can um yeah. it's definitely more favorable on the fairway if you can get over towards to where the, the silver, silver tee is yeah <laughs> Jerry's fighting. He, it looks like it was hyzering in a little bit. But Ooh, look oh, at wow. that. Wow. Man. He did get onto the side. Let's see if Andy can get one turned over here. Three, three righties, one lefty. Yep. I mean, this is definitely a hole, uh, especially off the gold tee pad, where if you have a strong flick game, if you're a righty or if you're a backhand lefty, it's probably the most favor favorable uh, shot to be throwing yeah. for a safe shot off this tee pad. If Nate can throw just a, a hyzer here, he'll be in good shape. Sorry about the tee pad, Nate. <laughs> that looked like an easy yeah. hyzer shot. Yeah, that's yeah. right where you want to be. <laughs> You can get over on that right side. You're, you're in better shape. Andy's over here against a tree. Yeah, that stump's gotta go. Gets a laser up through. He's probably gonna be fighting for a. Maybe not fighting for a four, but uh, definitely has to, a little work to do. Moser was in a nice place here. That was a little His wide, but shot it got through. Up. He should have a look. He'll be have a long look, but he yeah. should have a look there. Oh, yeah, that looked like this, it just flipped over for Nate there. Even though this hole doesn't have the typical par four distance, it definitely has uh, enough trees yeah. and shape to make up for yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. I think Andy's probably in the circle there. Yeah. Ooh, Nate had a good run there. Easy up. Yeah. You can just see that wind blow in there. Yeah, with the flag. That, that flag is moving quite healthily. <laughs> Jerry oh, on top no. of the basket. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. And that's a nice putt. Yep. Good four. Yeah. Again, this is still part of the course where uh, apparently that wind was pretty gnarly. I yeah. guess the the ridge line along four and five was kind of like the breaking point for it. So uh, I imagine <laughs> <laughs> Jerry got the flop in. <laughs> the assist from Moser. <laughs> He'll have to play that below where that went in, but <laughs> still, that's fun. Yeah, mark it below. <laughs> 
I'm glad they got footage of that. That's great. All right, Mike hit a four there. Jerry hit a four. Andy I four. Mean, and Nate hit a four. Given that wind and just the nature of that hole, that was those were good fours. This is my favorite hole in the course. Hole five. This is your um, creation. I really like this hole. Uh, it's a par three, 333 feet. Um, but you got to go straight down a, uh, you know, a pretty tight fairway. Well, with an evil tree um, directly with that in the one middle. Tree. That one tree is the key, man. If that tree ever falls Such down. Such a beautiful tree. And a pile of logs now. Yeah. I like, like the pile. Turns logs. it over a little too much. That might have rolled back somewhat center of the fairway. Yeah. The right side of this fairway is not nearly as punishing as what the left is. True. Very true. Oh, Jerry. Did just, get a, a yeah. yank on that one. I don't know if it, I can't tell if it hides your back. I think or it not. came back to the right it side. It might be manageable from that point. Yeah, the wind I imagine is probably still a little bit intimidating at yeah. this point. Yeah, oh. you can see the leaves moving pretty hard there on right off the tee pad. Yeah. Yeah, that's two, that's yeah. three that have kind of turned over now <laughs> to that right side. All right, what's what's the left they have? <laughs> right side too. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's over on that I right mean, side. Yeah, that's the definitely the more manageable side. Yeah. Nate Heiser's one out. He yeah, like he should have a clear run at the basket from where he's sitting. But Mike's probably rolled back in the fairway. Yeah. He's up there in the circle. Andy doing the safe up shot. Yep. Jerry got down there. Yeah, he definitely got this. He got sneaky, yeah. Uh, Nate was just in the circle it looked like yeah there he is on the comeback yeah uh, this hole is definitely not a gimme three I mean it's definitely a, a disciplined shot you had to throw on the drive to even be set up for the birdie right Jerry's in tapping three tapping three yep Moser should be able to put this one in no problem Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shows a little bit of frustration. But smiling. All right. Everybody got their threes except for Nate. Nate took a four there. So, so it looks like... Minus one, one for Mike and... Jerry and Andy are both sitting at even. Nate's plus two. He's had uh, a little bit of a rough start. Hole six here is pretty straightforward. It's a par three. You yeah. just got to get out of the woods here into the open. Doesn't really favor righties or lefties. Nope. And Mike's right outside the circle. He's gonna definitely going to have a look at it. Jerry didn't quite get his turn over. He's going to have... Oh, he took the skip, too. He's got about maybe a 90, 85, 90 footer from there. He's going to have to put a little bit of oomph on to it. Let's see if Andy can get it down there. little early and he hit the tree, tree and bounced right him down. down. I feel like I'm talking quiet because of uh, <laughs> typical golf commentators having to talk quiet during yeah. the round. I mean, that's all right. I don't have to talk quiet at all. It's great. This is our first time I can to be do, doing this, so it's quite interesting. <laughs> Nate's Did got a little clean? high. It is all right. Uh, it's very manageable three from there. Yeah. 
Oh, there's even still some wind on the back side of the hill here. And he with the hyzer. And he's easily in the circle. He's, he's right, right there. Pen, <laughs> he's probably on about it. five feet. <laughs> no, oh, no. Nate goes a little bit by. He's going to have probably a 25-footer from there. Jerry's up Jerry's there. Jerry's on it. Another five-footer. Mike's birdie. Yeah, There it is. That's a nice two. One, two, and in, man. He is, uh, when he sets up the putt, he does not hesitate. He goes no. for it and gets it done. That's why they call him the Delaware Deucer. Very methodical <laughs> with his putting, I'll tell you. And very impressive. Oh, oh, Nate taking the... Is that his third putt there? I think so. Uh, that is rough. I have... Uh, I, I don't think I've sixed this hole yet, but I've, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've fived it at least once. It's, yes. Andy and Jerry are going to tap theirs in here. They got easy threes. Yeah. And they'll both stay at even. Nate's going so. plus three. Mike's minus two with the deuce. That's a great two to get. It's yeah. not always a, a gimme two. This next one, this is a tough two to get. Yeah, you really, the trick with this one, you really have to bomb a drive straight just over the ridge of the hill there. Yeah. Um, if you throw up high, which you kind of have a tendency to feel like you should be doing, it takes a ton of distance off. Absolutely. It's uh the lower the shot to the ridge, you can get the better, the more di straighter distance you're getting. Yeah, get. more direct line right at the basket. It's this one's tough to get into the circle just because it says, I believe, four thirteen. Is it that? So, yeah. Something along those lines as far as distance goes. But with that uphill right off the tee pad, it adds another fifty feet. To definitely. It, so, yeah, uh, it definitely feels like you have to throw extra. It's a boom. Extra further on this one. Let's see what the front end does. He has the arm strength to get there. And the form. And the socks. <laughs> Getting it over. Getting it over. Uh, Heiser now a little early. He might have a jump putt look from there. That's still a pretty good shot. Nate's Annie. He's fucking back. Yeah. He's gonna have the uh, the backside to look. Let's see if Jerry can get there. Ooh. Yeah, and he's right he's in on there. It. Yeah. He gave it a, a half hearted attempt there. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of those situations. Oh, I saw that hooked. from the other side. I was standing on um nine or i'm sorry eight's t pad watching here and i thought for sure that was going in uh, when i was watching well that's he cannot catch any luck on these first <laughs> couple holes mm -hmm. um, mike got a little how far you got here i like, he did how far of a putt you think that is yeah that's about a th 35 footer i think he was just outside the circle there and he's just out there oh and right uh, off Right mm, the, he wanted that. He hit the front side of the chain. <laughs> he wanted and just that. Deflected out. I There's heard a, good a few from Nate complaints uh, about the the baskets. Really? The day. Yeah, some some bounce outs. That, well, I, mean, I, I think the wind the had wind, something to do with that. Yeah. Truthfully. <laughs> Jerry's in for three. On calm days on this course, I'd find the baskets to be quite friendly. Yeah, I I really like the Mach fives on this course. No band to whack you, you know, down to the ground. Yeah. I think these guys all just threed out here. Uh, yeah, threes all down. Yeah. So, overall, Mike's at negative 12, Jerry negative 9, um, Andy was at negative 7. seven. I didn't see what, what was Nate uh, out there. Negative 3 for Nate. I okay. Believe. So, uh, hole 8, par 4, big 747 bomb downhill. Um, this is a fun hole. You gotta play just a big air shot as far you know as you can. If you can stay right, you're better. Um, and then, you know, it's all about yeah. placing another big drive down to the basket. Basically what Mike just did, that's a good thing. Uh, getting it wide out to the right off the first shot. Yeah. Uh, trying to throw straight on this or, uh, 
you know, even if you do flip it over a little too far right, that is better than being left on the shot. Definitely. Left, left is left is no good. Yes, yeah, so you have to throw a very hard hyzer if you throw too far left. Yeah. Jerry gets it wide out there. Get a hyzer back in. And probably from where yeah. he's at, he'll have a fairly straight look in between the uh, yeah. the trees out in the center and the trees on the actual edge of the Yeah. I think uh, Mike will probably have more of a shot where he's going to have to hit the gap. Yeah. More so than the out wide shot. Andy getting on it. He flipped it over a little too much. He still has elevation on his side from that point. Yeah. It's just a matter of getting it out. Basically, if you can, on this on this drive get it out there 320 feet or a little bit more and you're gonna have a shot at getting the three Nate's is that's flexing flip. over yeah. Oh, yeah oh wow that's I didn't a see nice, it flip over that's a nice first. shot from Nate right wow, there wow that's a that's a good shot for anybody that's at least a healthy 400 footer can he get in there He's they want to hit that gap and, and hyzer out hyzer in and hyzer down quick too Throwing too high into that gap can be uh, trouble. Can put you on the backside into some thorns if you're not careful. Jerry, Jerry just outside the circle down there. He will be putting. Definitely. Let's see if Moser can put it down there. If he takes a high hyzer, he can slice through the gap. I didn't catch tell. where that where that fell. Um, I'm not sure where he landed. Yeah, from this point, it's a little tough to tell. Nate has a toughie here for for lefty. <laughs> He's yeah. got to do an anti shot. I'm surprised he isn't trying to throw a flick here, to be honest. Yeah. Taking the high anhyzer shot, it might be fading out too quick. He's looking down there. Okay. Uh, he's gonna, right, he got to the mouth there. Yeah. Ooh. That's might result in the five. Alright, Jerry's, Jerry's up there, up there for, there for the four. easy easy par from there, Andy. Ah. ah he can Again, connect. that's back to back, man. Yeah. Nate plays it safe, doesn't Moser's in there. That's in okay, first three. So that's, that's first three. That was a pretty darn good <clears throat> upshot. <laughs> yeah. That is why he he shot so well <laughs> I mean, I think we got to give him a tiny bit of credit. He's come to almost every one of our events this year and just, just taken them. Yeah. He just does it. Shiprock, then Akron, and now Muddy, and I don't know if he's signed up for the next Shiprock tournament <laughs> yeah. or not. I mean, I love that he comes out and plays, so I'm, I hope to see him again. I, uh, These guys are finishing up, so... I've heard people say Muddy Run reminds them a little bit of, like, a, maybe a mixture of Iron Hill and uh, uh, Carousel Horse Farm. Okay. But when it was still in yeah. ground. Uh, but maybe just a little bit shorter. Not quite... Uh, both those courses are very long courses. Uh, this, These guys are going to try to hit this par 3 here. Mike tried to play the big hyzer, Good. and it looks like he went a little left. Yeah, he'll still be putting from there because the uh, work that Pat and Ryan Neff, uh -huh. yep. thank yep, you yep. Pat and Ryan, <laughs> has uh, definitely made that a uh, more generous putting area. Definitely. Jerry, Jerry's doing the got hyzer, the idea. he's getting it, and he will be up in there putting, he's probably he's in the circle. He might be, yeah. He's got a good chance that of being up around in pretty good. And he's wide. Trying the same he needs to a little too wide. I think you know. He I bet you he'll be deep skip. enough. He's just going to be a little out of the circle, that probably. Area. I mean, it's going to be as open you for him. Get past the uh, the front side trees. You have right. putting area. Right. Oh, Nate's just did not want to flip over. 
he will be having probably about a 60 footer from there. Up and down, he's, he's right up there for the three. Easy in. Jerry, ooh, Jerry that's a big putt for at, Jerry. Heck yeah, that was a beautiful putt. Moser's Mike, in, nice. Another two. This is definitely one of the holes in the course where you want to get a two yeah. if you're playing gold. If you're trying to, you know, score, you really need to get the two. Here. You're trying to basically with this hole getting a two. You're at least in the pro field. I feel right. uh, as an example right there. You're keeping up with the field when you get the two here. Oh, we got to get Need in here for his three. There we go. And so, just to total. give you guys a, a quick recap here, overall we got Mike at negative 14, Jerry at negative 10, Andy at negative 8, and Nate at negative 2. So we're moving on to hole 10 here. It's a par 4, 580 feet. I really like this hole. It's a tough hole. Um, they're going to play uh, a gentle hyzer or sort of like a straight shot off the tee, maybe a putter or a mid-range. Um, and then they're going to make a pump down the rest of the fairway to try to get down there for their birdie. If you're throwing the short shot, this is a righty friendly hole. If you're going for max distance, this is the lefty or flicker's dream. Yeah. If you can shape your shot to do a turnover to the left and then come back right you get max distance absolutely jerry trying the turnover flick he catches Ooh. an early tree and bounces it he was trying right. that big shot he wanted the hero That's, shot yeah, absolutely <laughs> i mean if you're gonna get strokes on the field this is a, definitely a hole yeah. where you can do it on if you can get a three absolutely let's see if andy can get one down there looks like he's throwing a mid-range i think Probably just looking to set one maybe, you know, 40, 50 feet past the, the short tee pad. Safe fairway shot. He gets it. Yeah. It's that's, low enough. That yeah, yeah. If it settles. Oh, he caught a tree. Yeah. So it might not be bad from there. I wonder if he hit one of those stumps. It was, yeah, that was hard <laughs> to tell. It, it didn't, it was low. I don't think it was quite low enough for a stump, but again. Nate has the chance here. He can get this wrap down there. If he can get it to flip up and flex right for him. Mm. Uh, ground and tree there. Uh, he's just finding trees right now. Yeah. This is definitely... There's a few trees on this course. <laughs> <laughs> this hole in particular. I've been there. I, I, I know it. I know it well. <clears throat> Looks Again, like Jerry's thinking uh, another forehand here. He's not really on the fairway. Look at that beautiful clearing yeah. by the courtesy yeah. of Pat and Ryan Pat and Ryan Neff. Neff. <laughs> I'm going to throw it out there for them every time, man. <laughs> Jerry with a nice Ooh. flick. I don't know if he got a little back a little too early or not. Either way, I think from where he was at on that right side, that was That's probably a, a safe clean... shot to play for sure, to get you back <clears> in the fairway and just looking down at the, the basket from there is probably another flick shot. Mike, Ooh, wow. wow. Getting that's a beautiful beauty, throw. and that's pr he got far enough down he will be putting from there. <laughs> I can promise you. And it didn't look like he went too far either. Nate, he, wow, he's, with a he's flexing, a, man. yeah, a not common flick for Nate. Andy's off to the left. It looks like he's playing and a hyzer. He's shooting two from there. He's. Punch down in. He'll yeah. uh, he'll have a half-hearted look for sure. You know, it's this is a tricky hole just because of the the green area. I mean, it, yes. it's, it's set on you, a little flat, and yeah. it's very tricky. Behind you, the behind the basket, though, you've got a big drop off. Like if you like Jerry just did a layup there, yes. which I think was probably That's smart. The Y shot, um, and it's from where he was. Roll away potential here, and uh, or going just you know deep and down, yeah, yeah, going by the basket <laughs> altogether can make you pay. So Andy really has to think about a shot here. He did get down there. He's just inside the circle. It was a great second shot. 
Looks like he's gonna give it a run. If you are confident you can hit target, why not? Oh, uh, right off the front. Hitting target again. He's on it. Moser just came up. Mike Looks like all four and, around the I basket mean, there. Mike and Andy both had great second shots. We're both down inside the circle. Yeah. Both tapping fours. Definitely not. The, this is, I think, one of the hardest conducive to par holes on the course. I would agree with that, yeah. It's a beautiful hole, but it's tough. Absolutely. Yeah, Mike got a four there, Jerry five, Andy four, and Nate with a five. So yeah. two fours, two fives. Hole 11, this is Justin's hole here. Why don't you tell us about this? <laughs> All right, uh, I pretty much made this to make it a thumber for me off the tee pad <laughs> and then a thumber for me again out of the, the fairway and get a three every time. It's fun. No, it's, uh, I mean, you, uh, want, you want to play either a, a turnover shot or if you have a flick as a right-handed player, you can get up through that gap. Yeah, um, it, it's there's two lines to take. Uh, the early line which I imagine most of the guys are going to take or the the ultra safe outside line is basically a flick shot or a lefty shot but uh now this one they have it, to be concerned about the OB if, if you go too yeah. far straight ahead here there is OB um along the grass so a weird kick or something like that could uh the yeah, fairway driver or mid-range is probably the wiser of uh choice of this here Ooh, Nate got a kick there Kick yeah, he left bounced a little back toward the silver tee pad, I believe. I mean, from there, not a bad point to be at because you can see the fairway. But uh, this one is definitely no. He got in a good spot there. He's yeah, got a he, good he's line. just in front of the silver. Oh, he's got a bad kick there. This one's two placement shots though. It, it is. It, it, it really is to set you up for a uh, easy three. Mike got a little deep, but he still... I think he might have got a weird kick there. It was hard to tell where he got up to. Jerry, nice turnover shot. I think he's he was a little doing... short, but he's putting. He, yeah, he looks a little disappointed there. Maybe he was short. Is that... That's Moe's there. Yeah, that's okay, Mike. so Mike didn't have that great of a second so He's shot. up in the circle now. Yeah, this is... Uh, definitely one of those two touch shots. It's not the easiest for backhanders. I think flickers and people who can throw a thumber or lefties definitely uh, probably have the best shot of getting easy threes. Nate on this had one. a nice putt right there. Yeah, that was a great putt. I agree with you though. Like, I, I mean, I'm a pre I'm predominantly a backhand player, and I I like to throw the flick off the it's, tee there. It's it makes sense. It's a very tough uh, <clears throat> ready backhand shot to just get it through the skinny line off the off the goal tee pad. At least. Yeah. Because you're going to be heading up to that right side anyway. It's it just sort of makes sense. All right. It looks like all these guys are in. Mike and Jerry with fours. And, and you got, got a three. three there. That's a nice. That's a nice bird. And then yeah. Nate with a five. So overall, we're looking at Mike sitting at negative fourteen. Jerry and Andy are both sitting at negative nine, and Nate is at even. That concludes Gatekeeper Media's front nine coverage of the Holtwood Open. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the second video coming out shortly for the back nine. Thanks.